Hello and welcome to the Scratch Coding class. In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to use the LEGO Mindstorms EV3 motors in Scratch. So make sure to subscribe and let's get started. If you didn't check out the previous video of the series, make sure to do so. And in the last video, we learned that motors make the robot move, but I didn't actually explain how they do that. So just as a quick demonstration, watch what happens uh, to the motor. So as you can see, the motor moves in a circular motion, and that's what um, we're going to be using in our programs. So first of all, I want to introduce two very important blocks. We've got this block, which basically turns a motor clockwise for a certain amount of time. So we can choose what motor we want to turn using here. And in the last video, we choose ports B and C for our motors. So let's say if I just turn motor B, and I just turn it for half a second, let's see what happens. So there we go, the robot moved right, and if we want the robot to move left, we can use uh, this block right here, and this basically just turns the motor anti-clockwise, so it's basically just the other way. So let's just keep motor B, and then we just change this to half a second, and let's see what happens when I click on this. So there we go, the robot moved left again, and I just want to see what would happen if we use motor C. So let's say we had this script right here. So instead of moving right then left, it moves left and right. So in conclusion, we can just move one motor to make the robot steer. And before we go um, into motions forward and backward, I'm going to test you with a programming challenge. Okay, so for this challenge, you just need this one block. And all I want you to do is just to program the robot to make a, a 90 degree turn to the right. So how many seconds is needed uh, to be inputted here? And once you've done that, have a think about how many seconds you need to make a 180 degree turn for your robot. So just pause the video and I'll show you the correct answer. So in my testing, I found that 0.88 seconds uh, is perfect for a 90 degree turn. So let's see what happens when I click on this block. So there we go, the robot just turned 90 degrees, and if we double it, it will turn 180 degrees. So that is the value you'll need. If you're doing it 0.9 or 0.85, that may work. It just maybe depends on how much battery your robot has, because the motor's power, which we will talk about later, will be impacted by how much battery your robot has. So uh, if you want to turn left, it's basically just the same thing. You just have to change this to motor C, and it will do 90 degree turns left, like that. And now let's move on to look at something else. Okay, so if you want to make the robot move forward or backwards, it's not as simple because if we're just moving one motor, the robot's going to steer it left or right. So we need to move both motors at once. And there is a quick and easy way to do this actually. So first of all, we need to get when the green flag clicked and then we just need to broadcast a message. So broadcast message one, then when I receive message one, then we turn motor B anti-clockwise for one second and then after that, we just need another when I receive message 1, so it will be here, and then we make motor C turn anti-clockwise as well for one second. So both motors are now moving at the same time, and now when I click a green flag, our robot moves forward, that is perfect. And if we want it to move backwards, it's very easy, all we have to do is just change the motors move clockwise instead of anti-clockwise. So if we do this, now it should work. So, if I just replace these blocks and put them away, then the robot's going to move backwards. There we go, the robot just moved backwards. So what I want to do now is create a remote control on the keyboard using the arrow keys. So when we press a certain arrow key, the robot will turn in a certain direction. And I've already coded this so I don't have to waste time getting all the blocks. So I'm just going to explain this right now. So basically, when we click on the left arrow, we're going to move motor B anti-clockwise. Or if you do motor C, they're turning clockwise, that's also fine. And I just choose a low value, like 0.3 seconds, because if we want it to turn more, all we have to do is just press the arrow key more times. If we want it to turn less, we only have to press it once or twice. And for the right arrow, it's very similar, we just use the opposite direction. So motor B turned this way. And then for the up and down arrow keys, it's just basically using the concept of messages that I explained earlier. So we need 
both motors to turn anti-clockwise to move forward so this is the code for that and then if we use the down arrow key to move backwards we need both motors to turn clockwise and now when I press the up arrow key the robot moves forward let's say I want it to turn left there we go right right down up up left left so as you can see it just works perfectly and now what we're going to do is we're going to click motor power so in Scratch we can control the speed of that a motor moves at and this is called motor power. So if the power of a motor is set at a higher value it's going to move faster and if it's set at a lower value it's going to move slower. So we can set the power of each individual motor. So in these two scripts below here we have a motor that's set 25% power and then we have a motor that's set 100% power and it will do the same thing. It's going to turn right and then left. So let's compare the difference. First of all we're going to look at the motor that turns at 100% power. So there we go, and let's see what happens when we click on 25% power. So you notice two things. First of all, yes, the robot did move slower, but the second thing is that it did cover less distance. It actually didn't rotate as much, and that is because distance is equal to speed times time. So time is, we haven't changed it, it's just a constant, so we're actually just changing the speed. So you'll notice that you need a greater amount of time if you want to cover the same distance than when you have a high power. So just take as an example the programming challenge we did earlier that we wanted just basically to make a 90 degree turn with a robot. So if we are to use a robot with a power of 25 then actually we need to increase these values to 1.8 seconds to make a 90 degree turn. So if I click on this right now that is a perfect 90 degree turn for a robot and that is everything I want to do with motors in today's video but we're still not done with motors, we're going to be doing way more of them we've got a medium motor which I haven't actually introduced yet so I will cover that in a future video but before uh, we stop I'm just going to um, end with some programming challenges for you to try I'm not going to do any answers or anything so the first one is just to make your robot dance you can create your own dance to show off your robot um, and you can just use forward, backwards, left and right uh, so have a think, make a good sequence for that or another really really fun activity to do is to create an obstacle course and then get your robot to complete the obstacle course so that that is going to be uh, very challenging you can use like lines to mark out where your robot has to go or you can do obstacles that your robot cannot touch so you're going to have to create a big long script for that so you can get the robot from the start to the finish so have fun with that and that is going to be everything for today's video as i said earlier so make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more and i'll see you in the next video bye for now